Hello and welcome to Arabesque. We are at EOA Projects in beautiful Battersea in South London. We're here today to visit the exhibition of Kurdish Iraqi artist Walid Siti. A metaphor for all the rapid changes that are happening in the Middle Eastern world. This is Reconstruction. In 1971, I uh, went to Baghdad to study fine art. Uh, for five years, I was very young. And at that time in Iraq, the political situation didn't allow me to continue my study in Baghdad and the Academy of Fine Art. So uh, like other colleagues, I was seeking uh, to find opportunities abroad. And uh, Yugoslavia, I, I used to be called before at the 70s, uh, was the only opportunity for me to go there because they had a strong tie with Iraq and you can enter Yugoslavia without visa. So that was a good chance and um, I ended up in the North um, Republic of Yugoslavia, uh, Slovenia at that time and now it's an independent country. And um, with my another four colleagues we did our fine art um, and postgraduate as well in printmaking in the end of 70s until 82. Since 84 uh, as the political situation is uh, known to everyone and uh, get worse in Iraq as, as usual. So I was not able to go back and I came in 84 to claim political asylum and since then I've been based here working and living here in London. This group of work I've been working for the last few years because uh, as you know the Middle East and Iraq in particular and the Kurdish area is witnessing um, a lot of transformation in all directions, some violent, some hopeful, some optimistic, some chaotic. But it's uh, some transformation happening and some changes happening, some building, construction, deconstruction, and reconstruction. Then that's the title of the exhibition. That's what we're witnessing there. But all have is tinted with some fragile and uh, uncertain, um, you know, uh, transformation that we don't know what the end will uh, be. So, uh, in my show here with the work uh, installation, the drawings. Um, I'm painting, I'm expressing this concern for what uh, the future holds for the area as a whole, really. A lot of my work is uh, inspired by different architectural and natural forms which is found in my original culture in Mesopotamia, in Iraq, in Kurdistan. So the form of mountain, the pyramid, the ziggurat, and uh, the sort of things, forms, uh, inspire me to um, construct my, my work around this idea. And I use these um, symbols or forms as metaphor to express some contemporary issue to do with, uh, as I said, uh, the state of transformation the area going through. Generally, I do, um, do my research uh, and to do my studies, sketches, uh, because I'm into doing a lot of drawing uh, always prim uh, when I started doing a project. So for all this uh, work in this exhibition, I've done some primary studies and uh, uh, you know, preliminary drawings. But for this piece, the work which is in progress, uh, it was more kind of evolving through the uh, you know, progression of the time of the exhibition. Uh, we were thinking of uh, doing a work in, in situ and uh, I went for that work, which um, somehow resonates with other type of uh, work I have in this exhibition and before. It's the, to do with the f f f six or seven story or layered uh, structure well, with the constant of um, uh, perspex uh, sheets and a ladder which are already pre-made. Pre, pre, uh, pre so, uh, but I wasn't sure how it will end up. So, um, in each stage, I was uh, allowing myself to to deal with uh, as think how it comes and how to solve the next uh, problem I, I face. So, it's uh, a work in progress and a work is it evolves uh, as time goes on. I try to do what I think is right for me and. Um, whether subconsciously me or any other artist um, uh, aware of the, what the audience are looking for or want to see or not to see, it might be there, but I'm not conscious of that for sure. And when I work, 
as I just follow what I've been working before. And this is a gradual pro progression from one stage to another. And um, the series somehow continues and there's always be, even there are some changes in the medium or the format, there's always be a thread which connect each stage to another. So that's for me always been the case that to just go forward without much uh, being concerned about what uh, the reaction will be. I mean, uh, I mean uh, since I've been in this country for t 30 years, I've seen the changes uh, been immense, really. The, the events and the, the, uh, I'll say the exposure to the Western audience of Middle East has been amazing. And that has an impact on how, as well, uh, creating a, a moment of its own, and there's m much more exhibition, much more uh, attention to Middle Eastern artists, and uh, you see very good uh, Middle East art uh, at the moment. So I think uh, it's been quite uh, interesting and very positive uh, for the time I've been, at least at the time I've been in London. There are a lot of changes happening, and there are shift and um, struggle for power and uh, dominance here and there, different groups emerging, because many uh, previous uh, programs of uh, solving problem of Middle East uh, failed and there are new groups come in and they say that they claim they have a new answer for and I don't think they would have it either. So uh, there's a lot of shifts, a lot of changes, a lot of uh, movement, transformation. Uh, but in the long, long, long run, I'm optimistic about uh, this will settle somehow because um, we have to go forward and we cannot be uh, separate from this, uh, what we call the global movement towards progress. I just like to be able uh, physically and mentally and as well um, you know, materialistically that I be able to continue producing and be engaged with the issues, um, uh, what's happening uh, you know, back and, and here as well. So I just hope that I will be able to continue you know, producing work that reflect these uh, issues and ideas. Yeah. So that's all I hope really. And the rest uh, we leave it uh, to the history or what to, to, the, to the time. Yeah.